automakers and governments around the globe are poised to move electric vehicles in and gas and diesel vehicles out. The electric vehicle mega trend is unfolding and insiders know the time to get in on nickel and cobalt. The two critical elements to electric car batteries already in high demand is now. Don't miss this chance to get in on the opportunity to invest in physical class 1 nickel and cobalt before the mass market catches on. Go to www.silverbullion.com.sg slash EV and participate in the electric vehicle revolution. Hello again, everyone, and welcome to another market update, August 2019. First things first, if you are new to this channel or you have not already done so, please do subscribe, click on the bell to be notified on new updates, and hey, give us a thumbs up if you like what we do. We appreciate your support and we thank you as well. Last week, Silver Bullion founder Gregor Gregerson popped by and did a live stream with us where we focused on nickel. And I do hope you go and watch it where Gregor, he absolutely gave a lot of good information. Now, a big part of the chat I had with Gregor was on, of course, the nickel price. And as we can see, nickel has made quite a move from the beginning of the year and I do hope you got in on the action that is silently happening. Now, even though gold and silver has been getting a lot of the attention and we do love gold and silver, did you know, percentage-wise, nickel has quietly crept ahead and outperformed gold? From Forbes.com, gold is hot, but nickel is hotter as demand grows for batteries in electric vehicles. Gold is hot, but there's another metal which is hotter, nickel. Up 30% over the past two months, nickel has delivered more than double the performance of gold, which is up 13% over the same time, and the gap could get a lot wider as the supply of nickel stagnates and demand accelerates. The driving force behind the recent awakening of gold is well understood and can be summed up as a flight to safety. As the China versus U.S. trade war slows global growth and values of conventional or fiat currencies are debased by governments resorting to quantitative easing or other forms of creating money. Nickel's drivers are different and far easier to understand and boil down to a simple case of supply exceeding demand, which in past nickel booms was essentially a case of mines failing to keep up with the requirements of steel mills making stainless steel a material which has traditionally consumed close to 80% of the world's nickel. Demand growing for nickel in batteries. Stainless steel remains the primary market for nickel, but there's a faster growing market which until a few years ago was insignificant lithium ion batteries. A standard source of power in small appliances such as cell phones with their nickel cadmium batteries or nickel metal hydride rechargeable batteries. The big game today is in the battery packs which power electric cars such as the Tesla, Prius, and Leaf. From being a metal easily described as a one-trick pony thanks to its dominant end use in stainless steel, nickel has suddenly become a two-trick pony and if electric cars take off as predicted, then a shortage in future years is possible. What caused nickel to run from around $5.40 a pound two months ago to about $7.09 a pound was a combination of strong demand from Chinese stainless steel mills and speculation that a major source of the metal could be cut off sooner than expected. Trade wars, QE, dwindling nickel supplies, and now speculation that a major source of nickel could be cut off too easy. It's getting too easy to see that silver, gold, and now nickel needs to be a thought that should be bought. You know, in the conversation I had with Gregor, we touched on how governments are looking at EVs. And while some governments are still looking into it, others are already doing it. From oilprice.com, diesel car sales plunge in the world's hottest electric car market. Sales of certain diesel models are in free fall as Norwegians turn to Tesla and other makers of premium electric vehicles. Restat Energy finds 
Norway is leading the global shift towards private EV transportation with the highest EV ownership per capita in the world. More than one in two new cars sold in the country this year ran fully or partially on electricity. The biggest loser so far, the premium diesel car. According to Reistad Energy, the independent energy research firm, sales of some diesel car models are down more than 95% over the last six years. Okay, we all get it, right? The developed world and even the third world is shifting towards electric vehicles and that means more nickel is going to be needed and frankly, car makers are worrying about the nickel supply. From Auto.Economic Times, nickel deficit worrying Tesla and EV battery makers. The need for the high purity material used in batteries known as class 1 nickel is likely to outstrip supply within five years, fueled mainly by rising consumption in the EV industry. Battery producers and electric automakers, including Tesla Inc., are concerned over longer-term supplies of nickel, a key material in their supply chain that's forecast to fall into deficit, according to an Australian miner that's held recent talks with the sector. The need for high purity material used in batteries known as class 1 nickel is likely to outstrip supply within five years, fueled mainly by rising consumption in the EV industry. It's a concern shared by Tesla, according to Peter Bradford, CEO of nickel producer Independence Group, who last week met with a member of the car producer's battery metals supply chain team. They are getting ready to have a new factory in China and are at full capacity in North America. They recognize the biggest risk from a strategic supply point of view is nickel. There's been a lack of sufficient investment in new mines for materials including nickel, a factor that could spur prices as battery sector demand builds. Tesla's global supply manager of battery metals, Sarah Maria Seel, told a Washington meeting in May Tesla did not immediately respond to a request for comment on its outlook for nickel and other metals. Demand for nickel from lithium-ion batteries is forecast to surge about 16 times to 1.8 million tons of contained metal by 2030. Batteries will account for more than half of demand for Class 1 nickel by that date, shifting a market that's currently focused on stainless steel. Most of the nickel market up until a few years ago was focused on products like stainless steel. But now the global supply of nickel, or roughly half of it, is going to be taken up for electric vehicle batteries and there just won't be enough of it. Nickel's compadre Cobalt, also in the news once again as Tesla has some mega worries about not just the nickel supply, but the cobalt supply as well. Once again, from Forbes.com, Tesla's Megapack battery ambitions could drain cobalt supply. From large facilities to electric vehicles powered by Tesla batteries, the one thing they have in common are the origins of a key component called cobalt. This metal, which resides primarily in Africa, is used by nearly every major tech company and automaker alike, with Tesla pushing the boundaries due to its new Megapack battery product for utility-scale projects. Is Tesla's latest battery charge going to upend the future stability of sustainable cobalt supply in Africa? The breakdown on the things you need to know. This new Megapack battery is basically a giant battery that will provide energy for power grids. Tesla tested the technology for Megapacks in a facility in Australia, which according to the company saved more than 40 million in its first year of operation. While that may seem all in good, the main problem is that it's a huge lithium ion battery, which is mainly comprised of lithium, cobalt, nickel, manganese, and graphite as active cathode materials. The Democratic Republic of Congo accounted for around 64% of global mined cobalt production last year, According to the U.S. Geological Survey, Tesla's latest battery will force the company to gain a larger portion of the cobalt supply. Also, Darton Commodities predicts cobalt use in batteries is going to jump 
from 50,000 tons in 2016 to more than 320,000 tons by the year 2030. The Congolese government has increased its tax on cobalt exports by 50% and is considering labeling the metal a strategic resource. This would increase the royalty for cobalt from 2% to 10%, making it more expensive for companies like Tesla to use in its products. The cobalt conundrum. Cobalt remains the bedrock of electric vehicle batteries and massive battery packs, albeit with varying composition ratios. Tesla's energy storage division already offers two other products, including the Powerwall, which is a large battery to power your home, and the power pack battery system for commercial use. If we look at the original power wall, for example, it has a cathode makeup of cobalt, nickel, and manganese in equal portions. The new power wall 2 has slightly less cobalt. Tesla's Model S electric vehicle battery had a cathode compilation of 80% nickel, 15% cobalt, and 5% aluminum, according to small caps. So much going on with nickel and cobalt, but the true demand for EVs and their batteries made up of metals like nickel and cobalt is you, the consumer. A recent survey was done where people like you and like me were asked about electric vehicles and what our concerns about EVs are that may make or break our decisions to purchase an electric vehicle. From electric.co survey says consumers avoid electric cars due to three myths, range, price, and charging. Autolist has released a new survey showing consumer attitudes on electric cars. Among other questions, consumers were asked what their biggest reasons were for not buying an EV, and the answers were pretty much what you'd expect. The top reasons given were range, price, and charging. But the problem is that these concerns are, by and large, out of date. In the chart below, you can see a breakdown of the most common responses. Range, price, and charging are the top four responses with number three and number four both being charge related. Almost half of the respondents were concerned about each of these issues, even though modern 250 mile range EVs are available new for under 30,000 post incentive and are capable of 50 to 250 kilowatt charging rates on thousands of chargers installed across the U.S. These numbers are all good enough for the vast majority of drivers. Vehicles range on a single charge was at the top of the list. Next to that, too expensive to buy or lease. Then came no place to charge in my area. How long they take to recharge. Don't know enough about them to be comfortable buying one. Overall battery life, reliability, concerns around battery metals and not the right body style. Despite too expensive being the second most common reason that consumers wouldn't buy an EV, respondents also stated that price would be their largest priority in deciding which EV to buy. And here in Singapore, people here have the same concerns about EVs, but Shell, yes, Shell, the gas and petrol station is coming out of its petroleum shell and into an electric one. From ChannelNewsAsia.com, Shell debuts electric vehicle chargers in Singapore, the first in Southeast Asia. Royal Dutch Shell is launching electric vehicle chargers at petrol stations in Singapore, its first such foray in Southeast Asia. The electric vehicle charging service, known as Shell Recharge, will be available at 10 Shell petrol stations in Singapore by October this year or about 20% of its retail network in the city state. For 55 cents per kilowatt hour, Sing, the chargers typically provide from 0% to 80% charge in about 30 minutes and are compatible with most electric vehicles in Singapore. A Shell Commission study on electric vehicle consumer behavior showed that 52% of Singaporeans are deterred to buy or use an electric car as they think there are not enough charging stations in Singapore. Singapore needs more and cleaner energy solutions to power lives, businesses, and transport sustainability. Shell plans to make more of such low-carbon energy solutions available in Singapore, 
in the following months and years ahead. There you go. Seems like everyone is getting in on the EV boom, especially the EV battery metals, nickel and cobalt. Nickel especially has been making fantastic upward moves, and we do hope you get in on it. That's it for this month's market update. Take care, everyone. Excited about the opportunities in the coming electric vehicle revolution and looking to invest in this electrification super cycle? Demand for battery metals like nickel and cobalt is expected to rise in tandem with the increase in demand for lithium-ion batteries in electric vehicles. You can now buy nickel and cobalt parcels with silver bullion and have a direct price exposure to both battery metals. You have the option to buy 2-ton nickel parcels or 250-kilogram cobalt drums. Every parcel will be fully insured against loss and guaranteed to be genuine by Silver Bullion. Selling your parcels to lock in profits is as simple as logging into your Silver Bullion account, selecting the parcels, and clicking Sell. Buy your nickel and cobalt parcels now at Silver Bullion's website, www.silverbullion.com.sg/ev and participate in the electric vehicle revolution. Interested but have questions? Email us at sales at silverbullion.com.sg or give us a call at plus 65 6100 3040.